Well, Google is celebrating San Francisco artist Ruth Asawa. They released a doodle of the famous sculptor looping one of her trademark wire baskets. That doodle is in honor of Asian American Pacific Islander Month. Asawa founded the San Francisco School of Arts, which was later named after her. She died in 2013 at the age of 87. We are now joined in studio by Ruth Asawa's son, Paul Lanier, and Brian Koss, who's the manager of Google Doodles. I appreciate both of you coming in uh, on this day. Um, so help, help me uh, understand here, Brian, why, why did Google choose to, to honor Ruth Asawa with today's doodle? Well, first and foremost, she's an amazing artist. And she uh, is an amazing arts educator, actually. She contributed a lot to arts education, especially for young people, and uh, is a particular hometown hero here in the San Francisco Bay Area. She, she certainly is, and, and someone who was very important to, to you, Paul, and still is important. When, mm -hmm. when you saw the, the doodle today, the image of your mom um, working on, working on her, her sculptures, um, what, what did it mean to you to see her honored in that way? Well, it means I got a lot of phone calls today. <laughs> Everybody that's ever known me uh, sent me an email or called me. And it, it really made me think that about how she attended Black Mountain College. And it was, she was so inspired by the experience of working with professional artists and collaborating with artists. Mm -hmm. That really drove her to be such a fierce advocate for arts education and to bring professional artists to work in public schools. And um, so she just felt that that experience that she had at Black Mountain is something that ever, all children should have. She was more than just an artist. She, wa she was an activist, wasn't she? Yes, very outspoken and, you know, sweet, kind. But if you were on the wrong side of the <laughs> argument, look out. Was that ever you? No. <laughs> 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 you, you knew better, probably, right? Um, her work obviously lives on, and, and maybe a lot of people don't realize um, that they may be walking, walking past some, some, of, her, some of her artwork. What, what would you mm. like people to, to remember about uh, some of her work that, that lives on here in the Bay Area? Well, there's the fountain at um, Union Square, right next to the Apple Store, mm -hmm. and there's the uh, origami fountain in Japantown in the Neon Machi Plaza. And there's an internment memorial in San Jose because her family was interned during World War II for uh, being Japanese after the um, attack on Pearl Harbor. And, and that was when she started working, working on art, was, was while she and her family were interned mm -hmm. during World yes. War II. What, what inspired her work? Well, she met some Disney cartoonists in mm -hmm. camp that taught her how to draw or helped her to develop her drawing. And then when she got out of camp and went to Black Mountain College, she just met all these amazing artists. And, um, and they're very good, very tough teachers. And it was very inspirational for her. And, and uh, Brian, let me ask you, when, when did you and your team at Google uh, make the decision that you, you wanted to honor Ruth in this way? And, and uh, what, what was the work that went into creating the image that, that millions of people are seeing today? Well, first and foremost, it's. An, almost an impossible task to choose from all the great ideas that we get. Sure. Um, and we work about a year in advance, so we actually kind of chose Ruth about a year ago. Um, and really it's, you know, it's a, it's a mix. We're trying to find a variety of topics, a diverse ra range of topics, and, um, and ultimately something that will appeal to people here. Um, you know, the work that goes into it, it was done by an artist on our team mm -hmm. uh, named Melissa, and uh, we spend probably about a month kind of doing a lot of research and uh, background and talking to the family, talking to people we can, that know her work, and then, you know, another maybe two weeks or so to actually make the artwork. So. And you, you talk about working uh, a year ahead of time on, right. on some of these Google Doodles. Uh, that means that you obviously have a, a lot of suggestions uh, for, yes. for, for people or, or you know, places or whatever it is, yep. things that should, should receive this honor. Um, what, is the, what is the selection process like? And, and do you, are you open to suggestions from the public? And how do people, how sure. do, people do that? Uh, we're definitely open to suggestions from the public. There's, of course, it's Google. There's an email. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's really, literally just proposals. A Gmail. A, no, it's just, <laughs> no, it's just it's <laughs> proposals at Google.com. Okay, all right, there you go. Um, and, you know, we're always looking for a, a variety, like I said before. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking for people from the arts. We're looking for scientists, innovators. 
and actually sometimes things that are just fun. Um, we do something every year for Halloween. It's often a game, mm -hmm. and um, we're in that case we're just looking to you know, maybe give people a fun distraction in the middle of the day. Is it pretty fun for you guys to, to know that, uh, you know, like today, people are going to, you know, wake up and log on to Google and, and be surprised and, and excited uh, about what they, what they see with that day's doodle? That's our hope. We never, yeah. we never know. We never can predict what the, what the reaction is going to be, but our hope is always that it's a, it's a fun surprise and actually that maybe they learned something about somebody that they didn't know before. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Paul, as we wrap up here, your mom was a teacher. What, what did you learn from her? Well, work hard. And um, also on the, on the Google Doodle, there's a link. It, and they did an amazing job of slideshow of her work and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and some of her philosophy. So it would be great if people could click on that and learn more about her. That's a great idea. Yeah. I really appreciate you both coming in. Paul Lanier, Brian Koss from Google. Thanks for your time. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.